So here are the competitors. Rawat Tana from Thailand goes in lane two. Uh, Prawat Wahoram from Thailand also goes in lane three. Luk Tong Ha from Vietnam in lane four. And Savon Heng, or Heng Savon, I should say, from Cambodia goes in lane five. Heng Savon also going in the 200 and the 400 meters. And unusually, Tanarawat is only going for the one race. Most of the competitors go for a number of events. Tanarawat is a specialist, as is Prawat Wauram. Just going in the 1500 meters. So the athlete we've seen most of so far is Luk Tong Hua from Vietnam. And uh, if you're looking for an exhausting schedule, this is the man for the job. He's going in 100, 200, 400, 800, and 1500. He got fifth in the 100 meters, seventh in the 800 meters, and he's going in the 1,005 as well. Luke Tuong Ha, possibly the busiest man at the competition. Tana Rawat from Thailand starts in lane two. Now the Thai Prawat Waoram will start lane three. Makes huge demands of the arms and shoulders. This particular event, it's a merging of the two categories, 253 and 54. And some of those categories, the athletes are split and have different events. And some of them, they are combined. This is one of the ones where they're combined. Wheelchair athletes are around the top bend at the moment, so they need to get another 200 meters round the track to get to the start of the 1500 meters. Three and three quarter laps of the track, as of course everyone can work out the maths of. Four competitors, so all three medals, gold, silver and bronze, will be awarded. And after this race, we will have a number of victory celebrations. Field events have all been wrapped up for the day. We've had a, another very exciting afternoon on the track. A good one for the Philippines, two gold medals. we have the result from that remarkable 400 meters 51 97 and that's a good time from bong hong on the inside 52 35 the vietnamese bong din 2 53 84 all of these are very creditable times then you're dropping out a little bit those three the medalists really excellent performances under 60 seconds is good but to get close to the 50 second mark is really remarkable we saw of course two athletes dip under 50 seconds yesterday there we have from lane five Heng Savon from Cambodia and he's at the appropriate point now as are all of the athletes Now they start on the curve there and they obviously have to be allocated lanes but immediately they can go to the inside now of course normally in a 1500 meters when people are running on the track there is a little bit of uh, jostling for position and obviously that takes on a different perspective when you're all in wheelchairs uh, whereas if you're running you can be on one another's shoulders and um, not making contact with one another of course contact with one another in the wheelchairs can be disastrous uh, we obviously hope there won't be any accidents so they have to be very careful about uh, how they overtake how they maneuver they have to go very wide to overtake and of course wily competitors if they get on the inside can pull a little bit of away 
off of the kerb so that they make their competitors go even wider to get round them. So tactics very much part of the race when you're looking at 1500 meters. Two Thais, one Vietnamese, one Cambodian. Three medals at stake, four competitors. This is the last of the medals to be battled out for today. The tally at the moment is 22 golds to Indonesia, 20 to Malaysia, 16 to Thailand, 11 to Vietnam, four for the Philippines, two this afternoon, two for Myanmar, one for Brunei. So someone's going to add one more gold medal, but there's no question Indonesia will be atop of the track and field table come the end of the day. Just a reminder, we have one and a half days more of competition. A full day tomorrow, two sessions, morning and afternoon. And then on Wednesday, we just have a morning session. Luc Thuong Ha from Vietnam, competitor number 364. Conceivably the busiest man in the track and field meet. Racing over all of the available distances. One, two, four, eight, and thousand five. Well, the official was saying, no, we're not ready yet. Just checking if there's enough time to go around there. They want to keep things moving, keep the keep the wheelchair moving, keep their arms moving, keep the pulse up. These are, of course, super fast wheelchairs, specially designed for track athletics. So the two tyres deciding to have another lap of the track. Rather less stressful to keep on the move rather than hanging around waiting for the officials to make the final preparations. This race wasn't actually scheduled until 5.35. The way things have gone this afternoon, very smoothly, I have to say. has meant that we've uh, managed to pick up a little bit of time. I think you can hear in the background someone saying 5.35, right? And uh, that's what the delay is, that the event is supposed to start at 5.35. And if that's the time it's due to start, then that's what time it will start. looking for standout moments from the day. I think probably you still look back at the morning with Nanda Shaliha getting her third gold, 100, 200 and 400 meters. The Indonesian truly outstanding. But we've now got quite a number of competitors who are multi-medalists. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the competitors for the final
You're looking at athlete number 327 from Thailand, Rawatana. Rawatana from Thailand, 38 Next years of age. Also from Thailand, competitor number 328, Rawat Wahoram. Rawat Wahoram, also from Thailand, a little bit younger, 34 years of age. Luk Tuong Hua, busiest man in the track and field events. And 39 years of age. From Cambodia, Heng Savuan. Heng Savuan from Cambodia. He's another one, and not in the first flush of youth. 36 years of age. Okay, the clocks tick round. It's close enough to 5.35 to satisfy the organisers to their marks. Well, away they go, and obviously getting on the inside is a very important part of the tactics. And Rawat Tana is on the inside. That means that his compatriot, Prawat Wahoram, is going to have to go around the long way if he wants to overtake. So they're strung out very quickly. The two ties at the front. And you do see they don't get too close to the curb. Don't want to have any problems of clipping the curb and destabilizing the bike. Eng Savoan is in third place at the moment and it does look very much as if it's going to be a contest between the two ties. You see the time at the 100 metre mark is about 51, 51, 51, 5, something like that. It's a quick time. Both of them trying to take a little bit of rest when they can. Almost almost exactly the same rhythm. No question that these are going to be the two gold and silver medalists. By the same token, it looks very much like Cambodia are going to pick up a bronze medal. Heng Savawun is uh, fairly comfortably ahead in third place. Still the same sequence. Rawat Tana, and it could well come down just to a sprint in the final 100 metres. Rawat Wahoram just sitting on the shoulder of his compatriot. Actually, in cycling, that would be known as drafting. Technically uh, illegal in cycling, allowing the wind resistance to be taken by the athlete in front. So it's Rawat Tana who's doing all the work. And this is the end of the third lap, we always call it. It's only two and three quarter laps, but they'll be taking the bell here. OK, about 2.12. So we can look at a time out of around three, three minutes, three minutes 05, something like that. And they're going to speed up. And you feel there's going to be a straight race down the home, down the home track. And it looks to me like Prawat Wahoram is setting himself, trying to conserve some energy for the final sprint. Now these two guys will know who's the quicker, and they're lapping Luk Tuong Hua. Now they'll come wide, you'll see them come wide. Prawat Wahoram, has he got it in him? He's pulled out wide. Is he coming wide enough? He's coming up on the shoulder of Prawat Tana, and I think he's got it. Prawat Wahoram, he's turned it to perfection and takes it on the line. Just under three minutes. So Rawat Tana did all of the work, but the glory goes to Prawat Wahoram, sprinting past over the last 100 metres. It's gold and silver to Thailand, but it's Prawat Wahoram who takes the gold. Way back, Heng Savuan from Cambodia will take the 
bronze medal. And Rawat Tana, a rueful smile. He gave best to the younger man. And you did always feel that Rawat Wahoram had the race under control, just sat in there, didn't overdo it, didn't expend too much energy. You could see Rawat Tana pulling away from the curb, making him go the long way round. But on that final 100 metres, it was Prawat Wahoram who had the pace. So it was almost as if they were tied on a string for what uh, about 1400 metres. They came off this last bend. Rawat Tana pulling wide, but uh, his, com his compatriot just had the extra speed. And I think it looked to me like Rawat Tana knew that he hadn't drawn the sting from Prawat Wahoram. And so the gold medal goes to Prawat Wahoram of Thailand. <laughs>